What's up guys, welcome to the tutorial. Chances are if you're on this video, it's because you watched one of the other videos that are linked in the description about how to create track template toolbars like this to load up your VST instruments, or you watch the tutorial about FX chains. So if I wanna load up OTT, it's right there. If you wanna watch those videos, make sure you check out the links in the description or up here. All right, so now you guys are gonna learn how I customize my icons. Now I do all of my editing of these in a free online software, pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com. Go to the advanced photo editor, create a new file. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the size. It depends if you're using a 4K monitor or 1080p. Mine is currently still 1080p. So for me, these icon sizes work great. If you're upscaled in a 4K resolution, then you're going to want to do a little bit larger of images. So just so you know, these up here are 30 by 30. These right here are 50 by 50. These ones are either 100 by 100 or 200 by 100. I like to mix it up and have rectangles in there. And of course, you can change the sizes of these to a smaller, narrower image. So this one might be 30 by 50. This one over here might be 25 by 50. Now, of course, remember, there are three images to each file. So whatever you want to do, let's say we did one that is 250 by 250. And let's change that. Let's make it a rectangle. So like make it a two to one ratio. So 500 by 250. Just remember this, that the width you're going to have to multiply by three. So it's going to be 1500 by 250. So to create one, search whatever VST you're going to choose. This one is the one I like. So I'm going to copy it, bring it in here. I'll create a new image. This doesn't matter. View it. And let's make it transparent. So I'll go to the magic wand, delete that, go in here, delete that. And let's say I want to have something kind of pop out like Serum has on its other logos. So I'll select that one. I can go to colorize and I'll change this to green and maybe change this one. We'll go to hue and saturation under adjustments, colorize it. This one's blue. Let's make it a little bit more blue, saturated a little bit, bring down the lightness. I can go into the crop. I can also change the ratio to a square if we're gonna make a square logo. I'm gonna be doing a rectangle logo, so I'm gonna do a two to one ratio. Scale this down, and depending on whether or not you have a file that's loaded up that makes it look like an, a button, that's gonna be under options. Go to show Reaper resource path, and go under your color themes. I'm not gonna show you how to edit color themes in this video, I will in another. So I'm using Smooth 6, and in the color theme, if I go down to the file that's named Toolbar Blank, this is what's actually showing up in all of my toolbars. So if there's anything in a toolbar, when it's blank, it's gonna show three different versions of this image. So this is the file, as you can see, when everything is not hovered over, it's showing this part of the file. When I hover over it, it shows this portion. And when I click something, it darkens and shows that third part of the image. All right, so you kind of want to leave a little bit of space so that you can do that. I'm going to bring this down a little bit because I'm going to put FX under it. All right, so whatever, you get the idea. There's a lot of things that you can do in here. Now we're just going to merge the image as visible and then going to go up to image size go to image size here change this to what the width will be the width is going to be 500 so the height will be 250 make sure the constraint portions are on so that it does both sides at the same time we'll do that and that's what it's going to be like at a hundred percent of its size now we can go in and we can go to canvas size and just multiply this by three go in here and then duplicate the image and what's really nice about this when you drag it over it's going to show you if you're actually touching so you don't have to have any guesswork and then when you get to the edge it's going to kind of snap in for you we can duplicate this again and bring it over to the right side again snaps right into place the first file is what shows up in reaper the second file is when you hover over it and the third part of the file is when you click it i'm going to change the first one to be blue the second one I like to be green and the last one I like to be pink. And let's say we're happy with that. Now we can save this file at multiple different sizes. So I'm going to save this, download it, 
Now you also might want to save this at different sizes. Now it will change the proportions automatically for you. So let's say we wanted to make it small. So I'll go to 50 and that's going to be the size of this toolbar that I already have in here. So I'll save it. Now all you need to do is go to whatever folder your downloads go to, open that up, copy it, and then go into your toolbar icons and view it. So I can go in here, go to icon, change icon, I type in serum, we'll see the new ones that I created. All right, let's select both of them just so we can see the difference in size here. Save that. And now it's on our toolbar, ready to go. Now we'll use the other one, save that, and there we go. So that's how you can edit and make them custom. Obviously, certain things don't translate that well the more that you scale them down. Um, a lot of these I've gotten from other themes that I found little buttons that kind of poked out that kind of look good. All my slate stuff that I use for slate is over here. And then this is all the isotope stuff that I use. Um, I got other stuff over here that's like um, tape cassette. Mobius filter, PSP vintage warmer. So I use the PSP logo, just stuff that for me works. You might want to do something totally different. So I hope this video helped you out on learning how you can customize icons in Reaper. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comment section. I will try to reply as fast as possible. Thanks again for watching the channel and we'll see you on the next one.